coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 helps your heart in six different ways and I'm going to cover them in this video. Now first of all what is coenzyme Q10? It's a enzyme or rather coenzyme that is present in every single cell of your body. It is made by your body and it is used by every single cell of your body to generate energy plus various other tasks. Coenzyme Q10 helps in two ways for disease prevention, heart disease prevention and in four ways for disease treatment. It helps in treatment of various types of heart disorders and I'll go through them in this video. So let's begin. The first benefit of coenzyme Q10 is for prevention of plaque buildup in the arteries or something called atherosclerosis. Now you know that coenzyme Q10 is an excellent antioxidant and oxidation of LDL or low density lipoprotein is supposed to be an early step in the development of plaque formation and coenzyme Q10 is found to prevent this oxidation of LDL when taken in very high doses. Very high means really high. Now you and I cannot take such high doses without medical supervision because those trials were conducted with medical supervision and you can't do that on a daily basis in our routine life. So consider taking between 100 to 300 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10. Now this may not give you as much benefit as that was seen in those trials but you will get some benefit. It will help you to a certain extent. One type of cells in our immune system are called monocytes and they are responsible for causing adhesions in the blood vessels inner walls, the inner lining of our blood vessels and that is kind of a process which leads to plaque formation. Now it has been found that taking 200 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10 for about 10 weeks uh, prevents this adhesions formation. So this can potentially avoid plaque formation. The second way coenzyme Q10 helps in heart health is by lowering high cholesterol. Uh, lipoprotein A is a type of really bad sticky type of cholesterol, really really bad. It's even worse than the LDL cholesterol that uh, you and I worry about all the time. And high levels of lipoprotein A increase the risk of heart disease. It has been found that taking 200 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10 lowers these levels of lipoprotein A. The third way coenzyme Q10 helps in your heart health is by reducing symptoms of a medical condition called congestive heart failure or CHF. Uh, congestive heart failure happens when your heart is not able to pump enough blood, enough blood for circulating all around your body uh, because of either coronary artery disease that is uh, blockages inside your heart arteries or high blood pressure. Both of these conditions can make your heart not work efficiently, not work to the fullest extent and that's why it's called heart failure and the blood kind of pools more in the heart area and so it's called congestive heart failure. Now coenzyme Q10 is known to help reduce the symptoms of congestive heart failure. One should look at taking about 300 milligrams a day for this benefit. Now obviously congestive heart failure is not to be treated by you. It is your doctor's decision and whatever your doctor says only that treatment you should follow. I am just giving you some additional information so that you can discuss with your doctor. The fourth way coenzyme Q10 helps in heart health is by reducing high blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension is a condition caused when a compound called nitric oxide does not work adequately on the inner linings of your blood vessels. See, I mean blood vessels, they are not just rigid uh, pipes uh, through which blood passes. You know, they are, they are also sort of muscles or body tissue and there is a mechanism in the body when nitric oxide is uh, present in the inner linings of the uh, blood vessels, they kind of relax, it's called vasodilation. They can relax if need be. And so when the blood pressure inside the artery increases, the arteries are able to expand and release that pressure and that's how your blood pressure becomes lower. But because of various reasons, the nitric oxide doesn't act adequately on the inner linings. 
and that's basically what causes hypertension but when it doesn't act your vessels are not able to dilate or uh, relax so easily and so they stay rigid if the pressure inside increases they don't give way and so the blood pressure stays increased and that's what is high blood pressure that's layman's explanation for high blood pressure now coenzyme q10 is an excellent antioxidant and it is thought to reinstate this action of nitric oxide basically work on nitric oxide to help it act the way it's meant to and thereby it reduces the high blood pressure problem in fact some trials unfortunately there were small trials so you can't draw a big conclusion from them small trials have found that coenzyme q10 actually reduces high blood pressure now make sure that you don't stop your blood pressure medicine and try coenzyme q10 coenzyme q10 is a supportive treatment for high blood pressure you should continue you must continue your high blood pressure uh, treatment that your doctor has given the fifth way coenzyme q10 helps in heart health is by reducing internal inflammation inflammation inside the body now this is a big one chronic low grade low level inflammation is thought to be the cause of many degenerative disorders in the body heart disease is just one of them there are many others uh, diabetes osteoarthritis cancer alzheimers uh, alzheimers and other memory loss conditions parkinsons depression and a whole lot of other conditions are thought to be caused by chronic low grade inflammation in fact it's becoming more and more obvious that most of the lifestyle disorders that people face are caused by this presence of inflammation inflammation is difficult to measure so to say but there are some markers inflammatory markers inside the body so these are kind of chemicals uh, chemicals that indicate something so that's what the word marker means and by measuring the levels of those chemicals you can form an estimate of how much is the inflammation in the body now it's a whole complex subject i don't want to talk about it in this video i'll probably make a separate video on this but uh, keep in mind that the key inflammatory markers which indicate to you that you are developing heart disease or you are likely to develop heart disease or you are likely to develop so many other lifestyle disorders uh, some of them are c reactive protein crp another one is called interleukin 6 or il6 the third one is called tumor necrosis factor alpha or tnf alpha and there are a whole host others but these are the big ones and coenzyme q10 is found to lower each of these markers significantly so scientists say that coenzyme q10 reduces the inflammation in your body the chronic level of inflammation and thereby coenzyme q10 is not only anti inflammatory it is also protective against many lifestyle disorders one of them just one of them is heart disease the sixth way coenzyme q10 helps in heart health is by reducing the side effects of statins now obviously it's only for people who are taking statins statins are medicines uh, which lower blood cholesterol and they are very widely prescribed worldwide now the way these statins work is by reducing the action of an enzyme called hmg coa reductase forget the name just just i remember that some enzymes action is reduced by statins and thereby your blood cholesterol is lowered unfortunately exactly same enzyme is also needed in the production of coenzyme q10 now i told you your body produces a lot of coenzyme q10 In fact, 98% of its daily requirement is produced by the body. Only 2% you take through food, external food. And by reducing the formation of coenzyme Q10, uh, if you are taking statins, you start seeing a lot of effects of low coenzyme Q10. Low coenzyme Q10 causes so many problems, and taking statins indirectly leads to those problems because your body can't produce enough coenzyme Q10. Now it has been found that taking 100 mg a day of coenzyme Q10 helps your body recover from some of the side effects of statin uh, for example one big side effect of statins is muscle pain and muscle weakness but think about it coenzyme Q10 is needed for energy production 
its levels going down causes fatigue, tiredness and all that. If you take statins, this is one of the problems faced. Now it is possible that taking statins is essentially lowering coenzyme Q10 and that's why you are getting muscle weakness. Now I don't want to say that is the only reason but there's a possibility and so by taking coenzyme Q10 along with your statins uh, you kind of don't get the effects of uh, or side effects of statins. Now by the way another interesting thing taking coenzyme Q10 along with statins has been found to increase the levels of the good cholesterol something called high density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol and in my view everyone who is taking statins should be taking coenzyme Q10 along with it but once again this is a prerogative of your doctor and uh, I mean do your homework talk to your doctor and see if your doctor agrees if he does then 100 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10 is an excellent thing to do if you are taking statins. So these are the six benefits you can get by taking coenzyme Q10 for your heart health. But some more points about taking coenzyme Q10, you know, how should you take, in what form, should you take it through food, let me give you a little dope on that. Now coenzyme Q10 is produced by your body, it's native to your body, your entire body put together has about 2 grams of coenzyme Q10, 2 grams, 2000 milligrams. And it's there pretty much in every cell of your body because it's continuously needed for various reactions including the energy generation. Your body utilizes nearly 500 milligrams of it. So one fourth of your body's entire reserves are used on a daily basis. You don't get it through food, you predominantly get it through your body. Body produces it. How much? 98%. That means 490 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 on a daily basis is produced by your body and about 10 milligrams you get from outside. Now obviously that's not the exact number, 500 is anyway an approximate number. Now your food itself can't give you much of coenzyme Q10. For example, one of the best sources is meat and if you eat 100 grams of chicken, you'll get 1 milligram. <laughs> I told you your body needs 500 milligrams a day, 490 is made by the body. 10 milligrams you can possibly get through food and 100 grams of chicken gives you only 1 milligram. So it's not practical, I mean taking it through food is pretty much impossible. Now I told you 490 milligrams is produced by your body every day but that's not true, that is produced when you are 20 years old. As you age 40, 50, 60, beyond age of 60 for example, most of your organs produce 30 to 50 percent less coenzyme Q10. So your body is not producing 490 milligrams, it's producing maybe 300 milligrams. Some organs obviously generate much lesser and so they get tired earlier as you age, so to say, because it's finally needed for energy production and energy use for the organs functioning. And so if there is less coenzyme Q10, there is less energy production and that organ is less functional and so that organ's particular task feels weaker and you develop that problem that's essentially aging okay and so coenzyme q10 you cannot get through food your body is not making enough so your only option is some kind of supplementation now the problem with supplementation is even if you take 100 milligrams your body gets only about five percent the body into your blood only five percent comes so if you take 100 milligrams you're going to get five milligrams so even supplementation is not going to cover but it's much better than not taking it. And so uh, a good idea will be to take coenzyme Q10 and coenzyme Q10 is a fat soluble nutrient. So in general when you take a coenzyme Q10 supplement make sure you take it with some fat. Now nobody has a spoon of fat along with a tablet. So a good idea is to have it with meal which has some fat. And it doesn't matter what time of the day you take. You can take it in the morning, you can take it in the evening, you can take it in divided doses. It is not a problem. Now what are the toxic levels of coenzyme Q10? Unfortunately, toxic levels of coenzyme Q10 have not been established. Uh, so it's a generally a good idea not to exceed 500 milligrams unless your doctor advises. You know, stay between 100 to 300 milligrams if you are just taking for general health. And People have taken 1200 milligrams, I have read 2400 milligrams, I have read 3000 milligrams a day were given of coenzyme Q10. 
but these were under medical supervision. So just because somebody took them and didn't have any problems doesn't mean you and I should do that because uh, coenzyme Q10 can give problems if you are taking certain medications and that is typically checked when this is under done under medical supervision. For example, coenzyme Q10 uh, hampers the action of blood thinners like warfarin. So if you are taking warfarin, you should not take coenzyme Q10 unless you discuss with your doctor. It has been found that taking more than 2400 milligrams a day does not increase your blood levels of coenzyme Q10. So you can almost call it you know, saturation level. Why take more? Because taking more is not going to benefit at all, make no difference uh, to your blood levels. Now I know these were too many details for one to remember after going through the video and some of this will probably need some further reading. So what I've done is I'm giving you a link to my article on this uh, topic. I already written a detailed article on my website. Also, I'm giving the link to that article in the description below. So you can either click here or check in the description. But I feel that coenzyme Q10 is an excellent antioxidant. And since it is a body made, something that body makes, uh, you don't have to worry too much about it. You are not adding something external and world doesn't know how it works. It's there in your body. And it's also known that as you age, you, its production is going to go down. So taking coenzyme Q10 in old age itself is a great benefit and it will give you also some further benefit if you have heart conditions to prevent some heart conditions and treating some heart conditions. Here are some more videos that could be of interest to you. Thank you very much.